Gamers all around the flat universe, today we'll be showing you HRE versus French on Dry Arabia. Now, this guy, I don't know who he is. Uh, he was 12 and 0 before this game, after this game, 12 and 1. But, uh, so I'm not sure what his skill level was. Uh, I'm assuming uh, Conquer 1, Diamond 3, maybe, maybe higher, maybe. Uh, I'm assuming higher, because 12 and 0, uh, in, in, he's Diamond 1 right now, right? So he's probably Diamond 3, Conquer, or up, right? But the point stands, I'm going to try to explain to you guys how to defend and play HRE versus French. I'm not going to explain too much the early start. If you're looking for a build order for HRE, I have it up on my YouTube channel already. So I'm not going to be talking about when to, where to put villagers and all that. I'll just tell you how I go about this matchup and hopefully, hopefully you guys learn something. So what you want to do with uh, French as HRE. The build again is standard. It's the one I do for my YouTube. Um, nothing weird. I'm not adjusting anything too much but when i did make an hre guide i did say when you play against french or english what you want to do is you want to get a villager or two extra on wood so you can build a tower or two depending on your spawn so i got a pretty um good and bad spawn i got a good spawn that uh three resources are connected by the chapel uh and i got a bad spawn because all my resources in the, uh, are in the front right if this was uh resources in the back right and i made a chapel this is like the best thing ever but because my chapel is in the front my gold is in the front my berries are in the front the wood line is kind of uh forward side ish it, it's kind of like a mixed bag right it's good and it's bad at the same time so i get the chapel up and i put five villagers on wood uh, i got four food right now and I'm going to put two on stone so I can upgrade my tower. I will get enough stone for two towers in case I need it. Because I don't want to be moving villagers left and right the whole time. So I'm going to get stone for two towers. Uh, two towers to upgrade them, that is. Uh, just in case I need to build another one. Because I don't know how much he will commit to attacking. Like some French players commit with a bunch of like archer rangers. Some people go double stables. Some people just go one stable. And you kind of build... Uh, defense according to that, right? So, as I'm aging up, so will he. He's aging up with six. Monka. Um, okay, so there's the age up. He's gonna come in a second. I'm gonna start a tower. Um, if he ages up, you'll see me like start to one villager and then he finishes aging up. So I just add two more villagers just to speed it up so I can have my upgraded tower for when the French knight arrives. So, um, I'm going to be getting enough stone soon, and I'm going to be moving these from stone to food. The wood guys are still there, but soon I'm going to move to uh, from there as well, because I don't need that much wood. There's no point. I got wheelbarrow, like usual, and I'm going to get tower upgraded instantly. Uh, HRE towers require less resources to upgrade, so, you know, that's nice. Uh, oh, I actually didn't have enough for two. Oh, no, I did have two towers. Okay. Uh, it requires only 37 stone to upgrade. So, this is like your normal setup. Honestly, from here on out, you just go castle. Like, a lot of people still think that French hard counters HRE and that there's nothing that HRE player can do. With this setup, you can go castle. Like, easily. Easily. Right? There's not much you can do. Someone asked me when I finished this game, should he have been more aggressive? I'm like, yeah, but where? Like, where, where are you going to attack? This is under TC, right? The TC is going to cover it. This is under TC. This is under tower and TC. So there's no place for uh, him to go to. What if he builds towers to deny gold? I can power build one tower right here with six villagers. And that's it. And then I upgrade it. Right? That's it. And that's a good question, right? If you went and built a tower here, he's not going to pull 10 villagers. He's going to pull like one, two, three. I have six. I just build a tower here. I upgrade the tower, put villagers inside, and that's it. Because even if he did that, that still delays. That means that he won't have an archer range. That means he won't have another stable. So that means that his opener was stable plus tower. Because you cannot build a tower, uh, uh, archer ranges, and knights, right? So every time opponent does something, there's something that they're not doing. So 
And like I said, I have enough wood and I have enough stone for a uh, second tower to upgrade, so it's more than fine. Um, now, I'm scouting. This is the important part, and this is how you decide how much defense you should uh, be making, right? So, right now I'm scouting and I still see one stable. Obviously, it's still pretty early. Technically, he can add uh, an archer range or whatever else. If he were to add an archer range, that doesn't really increase his potential to attack, right? Because if he comes in the range of this tower, if I put five villagers inside, I'll almost one-shot the archers. So he's going to be losing army really, really badly against the towers, right? If he goes for another stable, uh, I will go for barracks of my own because, again, I have enough wood. So one barracks plus this tower will be more than enough to defend uh, two stable French knights. More than enough. And I'll cruise all the way to castle like that. Now, the option number one was the tower we discussed. The option number two is the archers. Which again, if I saw two archer ranges now or in a minute, I would just add another tower on gold. Because he can't harass my food because it's under TC. So the only place he can harass is here, right? So you want to cover that. Um... If you had a double stable, we go for another Spearman. If he goes fast castle, I mean, that's fine. We're going fast castle as well, and I'll get there faster. If he goes second TC, I'll be there. I'll be in castle before him, and I'll get all the relics and kill him with men at arms. So any situation is possible and viable to defend. And yeah, the last one, which I know people are going to ask about, what if they just build rams? Uh, it's just not going to work. Think about this. Let's say he builds blacksmith right now. And I think he does in this game, right? He builds a blacksmith. Let's say he builds a blacksmith right now. He's gonna build it soon. There it is. So let's say this was 10 seconds faster. This upgrade requires a minute. Right? But, but let's say somehow magically his blacksmith was done at 5 minutes, right? Like, some insane... If he did that, though, then he doesn't have early knights. Because, again, you can't have everything. If he went for super early blacksmith, like, like super fast, then he either won't have the knights or he won't have the archers. Because you cannot have everything. And that is my point. So, you have to see what the opponent can do and then counter it. But let's say he went 5-minute blacksmith and the upgrade finished in 6 minutes. What is he going to build the ram with? Because he needs archer range, he needs knights to actually attack the villagers, right? Which he needs resources for that. And then he needs 300 wood to build an actual ram. Let's say he has 5 archers. That's going to take a while to build uh, the ram with. And by the time all that happens, is going to be around 7 minutes, right? Let's say he starts attacking at 7, 7.30, which is, by the way, like, pro-level execution. So you guys are definitely not going to be playing against that. Exactly what Yabo said in the chat. One ram is not enough against HRE. If you guys don't know, uh, you need like two rams to, or two or three rams to destroy a tower because it has auto repair. Um, so you would need like, technically you can destroy it with one, but then I can just pull 10 villagers, kill the ram, focus fire the archers, and then he needs to build another ram. By the time he builds another ram, I'll be in the castle. Because, let's say, he hits at 7 minutes, which by the way, if he hits at 7 minutes with units and ram, he's like a pro level god, okay? Look at my resources. I can almost start my castle. And once I reach the castle, the game is over, right? Because he has committed so much to the feudal army, committed to a ram that's 300 wood, committed to siege uh, engineering that is wasted now, because he ain't killing anything. Not to mention, you need... I think four rams to uh, out DPS the auto repair on TC, emergency repairs. You need four rams to out damage it because basically the way it works is as uh, while the TC is auto repairing, by the time it gets low enough again, you can auto repair again or emergency repair again. So it's impossible to kill you. If he dives under TC, you have so many villagers, you, you can just put them in and they're going to kill the knights. And then you can burn the rams. Um, so, yeah, I, I think that French, it's not like it cannot win against HRE, but I think it's it's a pretty decent matchup for HRE because of all the recent buffs HRE has been getting. Um, 
He did not force idle time on your villagers at least once. Of course he did. Okay, he I'll came here multiple times. This is the second time he's coming in. Don't you just go in tower. And what? He has to run out. And look, by the time he runs out, this knight is almost dead. And you just go back to mining and that's it. See, he has three knights here. Two are damaged because they did dive for gold. Third now is gonna go in. Look how much damage it's taking from the tower. Like, how is he going to force idle time? I, I, like, this is a thing that I don't understand when people say that uh, French matchup for HRA is so hard because French idles your villagers. One tower. You see, do you see how much damage it's doing? It's insane. And now, like, if someone says, oh, but they are gonna be healing up. Yeah, and by the time they heal up, uh, I'm gonna be in castle, so. Good luck. The thing goes down because I put villagers in the main TC as well. And that's it. He did force some idle time. But, yeah. There's a reason why HRE is considered top 3 Civ. And in my opinion, it's probably the best Civ in the game right now. And that's because it's very good. Uh, so, as the castle is coming, I'm going to go for plus 1 armor for ranged. Uh, because I'm going to be diving under TCs and towers. And I went for the Burger Palace. Now, if you go for the... Uh, you can go for Cathedral, but only and only if you're very confident that you can hold off whatever French is throwing at you, because Cathedral is more greedy. Burger Palace is uh, safer, and is going to give you units instantly without needing to build more production. So, yeah. Yeah, this is in range of TC, by the way, so... Even if he starts diving here, I can build a wall like this, and that's gonna prevent diving on my villagers on uh, the woodland. So now he spreads his knights on all the relics to try to deny the relics. But I'm not in a rush, right? I'm not playing uh, Regnus Cathedral. I'm not in a rush to get the relics. So what you make out of the Burger Palace depends on what you're facing, right? So in this situation, I saw no archers. I see it now here, archer range going up. Um, if it was only, like, again, if it was only knights, I would just go pure spearmen and just mow them down everywhere. If it was archer knight, I would go only men-at-arms, uh, and I would upgrade them instantly and get heavy maces as well. So it all depends what you're facing. Like, if you're facing spearmen for some reason, you can go for land shits. Uh, but that's something you're gonna have to adjust and, and, and kind of figure out, right? I try to get the relic and he denies the first one, he kills my prelate because I didn't realize he had knights everywhere. Then I slowly manage to get one relic at a time. Why not going spears instead of power? Uh, because he can just make archery range and then all my spears will die. So if I don't make a tower, he makes archery range and kills my spearmen and that's it. Tower counters both, spearmen only counter knights. So yeah. Here I start cleaning up the knights, he does some micro where he saves uh, both knights but deals some damage. Kills my prelate here. Yeah, and tower, yeah, tower costs you less, that's a good point. Tower costs you less, bigger defense, it gives you a massive line of sight radius, right, to see the raids. Um, you can put relic inside, and this is one thing that I'm about to, to discuss. Um, and you don't need to use food to defend, right? Because I don't want to be making spearmen if I'm rushing castle. I want to rush castle. So if I make spearmen, I'm delaying my castle. But yeah, also no micro needed. I mean, it's true. It's easier to use and in my opinion is better in this situation. So right now I start harassing or I, I try to move across uh, with men at arms. But he has four knights and archers. Five knights. So I just run back. I just regroup a little bit and I think I save up money for maces instantly because now I see he has archers. I saw it earlier here. So I can't make spearmen anymore. So I just go pure men at arm with maces and I'll just try to overwhelm his army with better economy and just castle units. Like men at arms from HRE, um, they don't necessarily counter knights you know, on an equal tech, right? If castle knights fight against castle men at arms, castle knights are going to win. But these are feudal knights, so yeah. So one good thing about this tower is once you get the relic, look at this, it gets super good stats. 
gets more damage, gets uh, more armor, um, gives you more vision. If you look at my vision now, look how much vision it gives. All the way to here. Uh, and it's also a place to store the relics in. Uh, obviously, you don't have cathedral, right? But Atria can put relics in towers. And what I do soon is I put another tower here and I'm going to upgrade it and then put uh, a relic in there too. So it not only gives you map vision, but it makes towers stronger. Uh, now, this is the important uh, part. In the next patch, they're changing it so that Atria relics give the same amount of gold wherever you put it, but they give less gold. So they won't give as much gold as cathedral does. Cathedral will act as monastery, but if you put relic anywhere, it will give you 200% gold. So there might be even a point where you just don't go cathedral, because why would you? Um, and then this relic now gives 100 gold a minute, but in the next patch it's going to give 200 gold. Or no, you need cathedral, never mind, you need cathedral for that, I think. So uh, still, you get 100 gold a minute, which is very good. You can slowly start picking up relics. You don't need to take all five, like getting a couple of relic is really good. It's going to boost your eco enough so you don't have to mine gold and you can put these villagers on wood or food. And you can use your man at arms to slowly get map control and push the enemy out. So what I do here is you shouldn't play too defensive, right? A lot of people uh, see this army, right? And they're like, oh shit, I'm going to die. This army can't kill shit. Right? Six knights and eight archers? What are they gonna kill? Worst comes to worst, I'll just run back the villagers and TCs and he's gonna lose a couple of units, right? So I don't need to defend here. Like, this is already defended. And this thing has uh, a relic in and it has auto repair. So, what I do here is I just run five men at arms across the map and I attack his economy. I attack his gold, I attack his food, and now he has. How many villagers is this? And now he has 16 idle villagers from 5 men at arms. Uh, he goes for some kind of attack here. But again, he's just losing. I'm printing units because my economy is untouched. I'm about to get deer here. I'm about to get another relic in that tower. And even if we trade here, this is way better for me because my eco is better right now. Uh, and I'm stopping his economy on the other side of the map. So... You know, obviously these archers, I got plus one armor, so they're not uh, range armor, so they're not really doing much. He decides to try to harass here. I kill two knights with the tower. And he taps out. Now, I know, listen, HRE players, there's a lot of coping. Yeah, but that guy didn't play perfect. Listen, guys, I play HRE a lot, okay? I play HRE a lot. And I know a lot. some people might say, yes, that guy didn't play perfect, that guy could have played better. If you faced a better opponent, you, uh, you would have lost or, or whatever. These are my win rates with HRE. I have 50 games, I have 94% win rate. Whenever I try to explain something HRE related, I always get hit with those, right? Oh, but this guy didn't play well. Oh, but this guy didn't do this. Trust me, I know stuff about HRE. This works, okay? If this doesn't work for you, this strategy is fine, you're just not executing it well. My suggestion to you, don't fight in feudal. A lot of people, when I made the HRE guide, right, said, this just doesn't work in my league because I get attacked instantly. This does work in your league, you're just misplaying it. Figure out what you're misplaying, you're gonna lose a little bit, right? You're gonna lose some games until you learn, but then you're gonna do much better. And this is especially for Atari and Mongols from all the guides, because most of the guides are aggressive or somewhat uh, straightforward. But Atari and Mongol, you gotta play a little bit greedy to get to castle. And a lot of people, what I've noticed is, uh, you know, I had, which by the way, I don't mind. I'm just trying to, to explain this point of view and that you guys should just practice this, okay? Uh, I saw a lot of comments like, you know, I loved your other guides, but this one just doesn't work for me. And I went back to defending against French and Feudal, right? And this is the issue. This fighting French and Feudal might work for you right now, but you will advance a league and it will not work anymore, right? It's just not gonna work. How do I know it's not gonna work? Because there comes a level where players will just beat your ass in Feudal if you're playing against French and Feudal. So, my suggestion, 
do the strategy you don't know how to do that is maybe a bit harder to do but will give you better results in the long run than to do something that's good right now but in the long run is worse but that also depends if you want to you know if you're like silver do you want to be gold or do you want to be diamond right so there's that as well so yeah that is it i hope you guys uh enjoyed this little hred versus french guide there's not much to it honestly like like i said there's a couple of options that french players can do there are counters to all of those obviously there are a lot of variations to it uh, you know maps dry arabia is one of the worst maps for hre uh, and that's why i felt like making a guide out of this video is good because dry arabia is the worst uh yeah it's, it's the worst map for hre especially against french um someone asked earlier how can french win i mean you you need to harass you need to be on point but that requires almost perfect micro and it doesn't require a lot of effort from HRE to defend this because tower is doing all your work. So yeah, I hope this guide helped you. If you guys want to see more guides focused on, um, you know, specific civs or specific matchups, if you're watching on YouTube, let me know which ones you want to see. Um, I know a lot of people struggle against French and English specifically, and I know uh, most requests were from French versus H3 beforehand, so let me know which ones you would like to see next. For Twitch gamers, let's keep going.